Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with the First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. We're looking at 1 John 4, 1. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because false prophets are gone out into the world. That idea that we're, we're deceivers out there. There are those, those wolves in sheep's clothing. And a wolf is there in sheep's clothing to devour the sheep. They're not there to, to be nice. They're not there to learn more about God's word. You know, it doesn't say that we're supposed to condone them. We're not to applaud them. We're not to buy their books. We're not to look at their TV shows. We're not to, you know, their, their evangelism, evangelistic programs and all this other stuff. He says we are to try the spirits, means we are to test to see if they're truly um, teaching the Word of God. Uh, so we said before, the Bereans were, Paul commended the Bereans because they they took what he his teachings and then he took them back to the Word of God and to see if what he was teaching was actually true or not. And that's really what you should do with me. And that's what you should do with all teachers and uh, who claim to proclaim the, the Word of God. The Bible tells us, by their fruits you shall know them. What are their fruits? Well, certainly, love, joy, peace, like we talked about with the uh, fruit of the Spirit, those evidence thereof. So many times we want to uh, make the, 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 the fruit or the evidence that one is truly saved by how big their ministry is. Look how many people are going to it. Uh, that must be a move of the Spirit. Well, I guess that's true of every NFL game out there because they have... 50, 60,000 people out there. That's not a move of the Spirit. That's just a crowd. That's not has nothing to do with that. Well, you should see uh, that they're, they they have uh, ministries overseas, and they say that if I give you know twenty five dollars a month, my my money will go to help them uh, spread the word. Spread what word? What word are they spreading? Are they spreading the same junk that they're uh, they're uh, they're teaching on? television or the radio I don't want that spread anywhere don't give any money to them uh, don't buy their books don't be part of the the deception there you have a responsibility these people prey on the ignorance of, of, of nominal Christians you can't be that way God has given you the Word of God he's given you the church he's given you the Holy Spirit he's given you the opportunity to pray and, uh, and you can't follow the crowd. Broad is the way that leads to destruction, the Bible says. He, the, the warning here over and over again that in the end times, people will heap up teachers for themselves and they will, uh, they will, they want their ears tickled. They want to, they want to be entertained. They want to be amused. They want to, um, to come out of there feeling so, so good. As the old preacher said, sometimes you should leave church and, and feel like you've gotten a spank. You should have got a spank out of there because you haven't been living the way you should be living. And you know, that that preacher up there has stepped on your toes a time or two in that message. My job and the job of your pastor, whether he realizes or not, is not to make nice with people, to make them feel good. I want everybody who comes into First Baptist here to feel welcome, to feel loved, to be uh, cared for. Um, but when I step in that pulpit, you know, I, I, I'm now saying, thus saith the Lord. And, uh, and sometimes when I'm preaching, I'm preaching to me because I'm not perfect. And so it's not a matter of making people feel uncomfortable. It's about me honoring the Word of God. And so he says, you and I need to be aware. I think with this age that we live in and this um, where right is wrong and wrong is right and up is down and down is up and all this other stuff out there, it's the move is to comply, just to go along. It really doesn't matter if we agree with it or not. We just don't have to talk about it. There's so many other things in the Bible to talk about. Why do we have to talk about those things? Because that's what the unbelievers do. That's what the, the false teachers do. They stay away from that. You see some of those interviews that some of these famous preachers,
preachers uh, take, and they'll ask them the hard questions. They'll ask them about homosexuality. They'll ask them about transgenderism. They'll ask if Jesus is the only way. They'll ask them about this and that. And boy, they'll sidetrack those. Why? Because they don't want to lose their crowds. I'm not worried about that. And, uh, and most Bible preachers aren't worried about that. You know what? All we have to do is hear, well done, thou good and faithful servant. servant. And if, uh, if I have uh, 100,000 people by the, uh, in, in church, uh, when I die, that you know what? All that really matters is, is if what Jesus thinks about it. You and I need to be careful. These are dangerous times. Deceivers are out there. They're swaying the masses. Don't be swayed. Stay in the Word of God, and the Word of God will stay in you and keep you stayed away from those false teachers. Amen? This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you, and I love you as well. I'll talk to you soon.